everyone. Um, I've done many videos on rotis and parathas, Indian bread, uh, like lachha paratha and uh, tanturi paratha, regular puri and paratha. But today I'm going to do uh, make a video on cauliflower or gobi paratha. We can use uh, spinach in the same way or any vegetable that you have on stock. So I took a cauliflower and what I did was I cut it into small size pieces. First coming to the dough, here I have two uh, cups of all-purpose flour, atta or whole wheat flour. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of water at a time and first I'm going to make a dough out of this with about a teaspoon of salt so we don't want to make it too wet or soggy but it needs to be uh, thick enough for the parathas to be made half a cup of water put in little bit of water at a time so i like some heat so i put a little bit of a teaspoon of chili flakes and some cumin seeds as well and now I'm going to knead this dough you can dust some flour some extra flour for making the parathas about a cup is there to knead out the dough so in here I have about two cups of grated cauliflower I've added in this about a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Uh, also for some extra heat, I like my things spicy. So a teaspoon of red chili flakes. A teaspoon of chili powder. A teaspoon of coriander powder and cumin powder. This is optional. And about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons of salt. I'm going to mix all this together and there is one slightly cut green chili you can take off the seeds and add it in taking about the dough that we made about a cup I made six round shaped uh, balls like this I'm going to press it with the palm of my hand and I'm going to drench it in the flour and just roll this out about um, 3 to 4 inch diameter we want the ends to be soft and in this mixture as I said I added a little bit of chaat masala you can add black salt and also about a teaspoon of ajwain can be added to this also I've added a teaspoon of ajwain in this so I'm going to take my paratha and then I'm going to take about a teaspoon of my cauliflower filling I'm going to put it in the center if you want you can add a little bit more and then I'm going to just take this in the palm of my hand in this manner and I'm going to bring everything in the center so if I do it from this end it will come like this and I'm going to close the mouth in the center like this and press the dough very gently and keep it for five minutes I gently went ahead and with the palm of my hand I'm trying to make my edges real thin and now I am going to take the help of the rolling pin for my pizza 
and I'm just going to go very gently and make this roll out the edges into a thin I like to make my edges thin uh, personally I don't like very fat parathas or roti so over here we took all this dough and then I roll it out in 6 inch diameter as we said I mean 3 to 4 inches in this manner round shaped and then I'm just going to make the ends a little bit thin I'm going to take about a heap full about a tablespoon of my cauliflower and then I'm going to take it in the palm of my hand, press it down very gently. It can be done in this manner or you can take and make this into the shape of a dumpling that is overlapping. And then we have to close the mouth and take everything in the center and go in this round fashion and then press it down so gently with the palm of our hands we go in this manner and dust this in some flour gopi ka paratha goes very well with pickle so you can have it for lunch and dinner and this one will easily serve about six to eight people. Similarly, we can take a rolling pin and flatten out the dough. If you see any air bubbles, you can take a gentle fork and just make gentle holes. And as I said, the edges need to be nice and thin and we just go around the edges here and I have my non-stick tawa. It's preheating over here. And you let it heat to hot. As you can see, it's nice and warm. I'm going to take my paratha. I put some non-stick spray. You need oil for frying as well. So I'm turning my heat to medium-high heat. Because this non-stick tawa that I have gets hot very soon. And one side I want to ensure that it's nice and red before I even apply any oil. You can use anything. Here I have a cup of good vegetable oil. And now when both the sides started to brown we don't want this too hot just on a slight medium high heat i'm going to take press the sides very gently and just take these parathas they should not be raw, they should be well fried at the ends in this fashion. You want to press the edges so that they are well cooked 
and keep turning them in 2 to 3 minutes. In this manner. So we can take any vegetable, grate it and put in the same things. Salt, chili powder, ajwain, uh, a little bit of uh, um, chaat masala to make that extra spice and um, of course cumin and coriander are optional you don't need to add them but I like some extra spice in my food so there you go with a beautiful cauliflower paratha ready to serve to your family thank, thank you for watching and definitely subscribe. I have hundreds of videos coming up on YouTube at Goryeo Bhutia.